Hello, hello, and welcome to Healing Motions. My name is Tabitha King, and I am the owner, and I am a chronic illness specialist who helps African-American women break free from generational cycles and trauma while getting to the root cause, usually using holistic measures that will help to find ways to come away from these illnesses so that they will not continue to your children and your children's children. So first things first, if you like the content that I'm giving, please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching from somewhere else, go to YouTube and click on Healing Motions with Tabitha King and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I wanna talk about my shirt first today. I don't know if you can see it all, but this is a very intriguing shirt. I don't know if you like it, but I love it because it has this woman in armor and she has a sword on and she has some blood dripping from her along with a rose in her hand. And the words on the shirt says, I am a daughter of God. I was born in the month of May. My scars tell a story. They are a reminder of time when life tried to break me, but failed. I'm sharing this with you because first, my favorite color is purple, which is also the color of royalty. And second, we sometimes get wrapped up in our scars when we need to be focusing on how your scars can help you get to your next level. That brings me to my topic for today, and it's about childhood trauma. First, trauma is part of our ordinary lives. It can arise from many things that ordinarily uh, might not be considered as traumatic. For example, did you know that having an argument can cause trauma? Also, if you fall, there may be trauma. Surgery, regardless of whether or not you chose to do it, you um, also can have some issues with some trauma coming up in your body. Stress and so much more can also cause trauma in your life. So what is trauma? Trauma is actually one of the perception, it's the perception that your survival is at risk. In other words, when you notice that your way of life is no longer safe, your survival is at risk. Whether it's real, remembered, or imagined, the nervous system does not know the difference between physical or psychological trauma. Did you know that trauma changes our brain, our brain function? This happens when we have long-term trauma or unresolved trauma that goes on for a long period of time. We find that trauma inhibits our focus so no screening capacity, which make, and, it, and it makes it harder for you to focus. It also inhibits your speech to where you may trip over your words and you have a hard time articulating what you're going through. As you can see, I have a little bit of a tripping over my speech in my uh, video time, but I'm thankful to God that I'm not where I used to be and I'm on my way up to the next level. So I continue to give God the praises for all the great things that he's done and the accomplishments that I have, which is what you should be doing as well. You may not be where you want to be, but God is always right on time. More specifically, in the brain, the broca's area goes offline. Some of what you experience is just the physiological response to the trauma, and that's okay. Trauma also inhibits your self-perception, which you do not have a strong sense of your own experiences. This happens because your internal experiences or the sensation that comes from inside of you gets less acute. You become numb and block a lot of your memories. I've been there, I've done that. I've went through a lot of trauma in my life, ended up so numb that I didn't know how to deal with my emotions. In fact, the way that I learned, the first thing that I started to see um, a transformation in was when I was using essential oils 
And I use um, Young Living Essential Oils because they have a strong frequency and vibration. And that helped me so much to the aromas from those oils got into my limbic system, which is where your emotions come from. And because it did this, I was able to start to breathe in those aromas and it started to release my memories. It started to release the trauma in my body so that I can start to he the healing process. And I have a link on my website on healingmotions.net where you can find out more about the Feelings Kit Collection. That is a great, um, a great place to start on your essential oils healing um, to, for your body. There is a diminishment also in the observers, meaning when you say or you step back and tell yourself, this is now, or what I'm remembering was back then, or this might look dangerous, but it's not really. This is what diminishes with trauma. All these things, you don't have them as much anymore. It has no relationship to do with your um, education or the amount of work you've done or your intelligence. No matter how smart you are, when you deal with trauma, you lose this capability to observe these things. So earlier I discussed how your scars try to break you, but you but they do not fail. I mean, but they do fail. Even though it's trying to break you in the moments, there's a reason this happens. I love that Jesus doesn't simply say we'll have trials and sorrow and then leaves it to us to figure out how to deal with it. No, instead he promises peace and reminds us that he has already overcome the world, meaning our hardships aren't without purpose. This is why the apostle Paul, who experienced much pain and difficulty, can boldly declare these words in Romans 8 and 28, where he says, and we know that for these two things, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. For a man who underwent beatings, shipwrecks, and multiple imprisonments, Paul recognizes something that is absolutely essential for us to remember as believers. Our pain is not meaningless, but has a purpose. Don't forget that your pain is not meaningless. It has a purpose. And not just some situations. He writes all things. Every individual God used mightily throughout scripture went through seasons of hardship. Yet scripture repeatedly speaks to how our suffering never concludes without God's power working through it supernaturally. Regardless of what you're walking through today or what challenges are ahead, these are principles the Lord wants us to know when we're walking through difficult days. First, you wanna bring your pain to God and don't run from him. That is very important. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 and 7 to cast all of your cares and your anxieties on him for he cares about you. Take the time to give your cares to the Lord. He wants you to bring all of your feelings, all of your anxieties, all of your emotions that you're dealing with to him so that he can work it out for you. Two, you wanna fill your life with God's word and God's people. How we respond to pain and suffering is critical to how we process what's happening and how healing will take place. If you treat physical sickness with the inappropriate medication, not only will your sickness continue, but it could become worse. If you fill your mind with words, with wrong thoughts, God is, God is mad at me, you're thinking, or God is not good. Worse things are going to happen to you. You will struggle to experience the peace of God he promises to us in scripture. But when you fill your life with God's word and surround yourself with people who speak hope and encouragement into your life, your experience will become much healthier. 
Psalms 119, 103 says, how sweet your words taste to me. They are sweeter than honey. Sister, I will tell you, I have been there. I have done that. I have had so many negative words in my mouth because of the trauma that I dealt with as a child, because of the things that were spoken in my life that was I was criticized. I was treated evil, honestly, and people didn't know how to talk to me. In fact, it caused so much pain in my body that I dealt with pain from the age of 16 on up until I finally said, God, I need you. And I need you to take the, the will instead of me trying to take control. I had to give it over to God so that he could work it out for my good. When we fill our minds with God's word, we are reminding ourselves of who our God is, what he's like, and we replace the lies of the enemy with the truth of our good God. Praise be to God, for he has done great things for us. I want to share that in my signature program, I teach you how to completely heal from childhood trauma. So you are released from the pain in which your physical bodies have endured when you decide to work with me for the next six months. I teach you how to transform your life and renew your mind to heal and be made whole while having a lifetime of wellness. I have experienced it for myself. For actually such a time as this, I have actually lost over 50 pounds and it's all due to the knowledge of God and learning how to dwell and seek his face and learn how to trust him in the moments. I know God has great plans for my life and I know he has great plans for your life as well. Go ahead and click on the link in the description to schedule a call with me to begin moving towards your healing for a lifetime of wellness. I may not be completely healed, or, or no, I am completely healed rather, but I may not have finished the process for the journey, but I am a little further than some of you may be. So I want to be able to help you to begin to train and transform your heart to where God can use you and you can be filled with his Holy Spirit and learn how to love yourself, love God, and love others. On my blog, there's a corresponding blog post where I share about seven ways to heal your, from your childhood trauma and reclaim your life. Go to the link in the description so that you can begin training for a lifetime of wellness. Also in my Facebook community, I am teaching about how to find your weeds in a challenge right now as we're going through. Basically, that means unless you learn to retrace the steps that led to the brokenness, you will, be, you will not heal from the wounds. So my goal is to help you learn to look back and at your past times in your life so that you can begin to... This helps you to look back so that you can begin to heal from those things that are going on in your life. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I had a brief moment of technical issues. Hold on one second. So my goal is to help you learn to look back at your past times so that you can move forward rather than leave behind your your broken heart you want to not stay at a place of a broken heart but you want to have that healed heart that you are dreaming of and having that peace of mind and that joy every day all day it's very possible to have whether or not you are dealing with yelling whether or not you are dealing with frustration whether or not you're living de living dealing with anger you can get to the bottom of your root causes and start to forgive and be forgiven. Since I want to help you to get on that level to finishing this journey well, I want you to be able to get to that place where you are ready to do a work that God has for you. I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you have enjoyed this. Again, if you have liked it and you are looking forward to more, please like the page and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to sharing more with you in the near future. Be blessed.